What is the Khalsa today? What image do you have in your head? A warrior, Kesh, Kirpan, the Malla. Did the Gurus imagine that there was more to the character of a Khalsa? Guru Gobind Singh Ji describes who a Khalsa is. Khalsa soe jo ninda tyage. The Khalsa does not criticize anyone else. Khalsa is one who helps the needy, one who gets rid of arrogance. Khalsa soe jo panch ko mare. Khalsa is fighting an internal battle with their inner demons, your lust, your anger, your pride, greed, attachments. Jin mil mare panch sur bir aso kon balire. Show me that warrior that has defeated those five warriors. The whole purpose of wearing these external forms is to change the way we think, to change our understanding of ourselves, our understanding of the world around us, change how we interact with the world. The Khalsa was never to give you a new identity, it was to give you a new understanding. Guru Gobind Singh Ji says, Puran Jyot Jagay Ghat Mein Tab Khalas Tahe Na Khalas Jaan one becomes pure only when he realizes the complete light within them. A Khalsa who doesn't know their light, they are na Khalsa. They are not the real Khalsa. Sometimes people ask the question, why do I need the Amrit? If the whole spiritual journey is internal, then what is the need for the external? We have to understand when you take Amrit, you haven't become a Khalsa. There is an Amrit inside you and in order to be an Amritari, you must find that Amrit. The external Amrit is helping you to find the internal Amrit. The appearance of the Khalsa from the outside is a reflection of the Amrit that you found on the inside. Is this the Khalsa that we have been talking about? Is this the kind of vichar that happens when everyone says, Guru Ale Bano Amrit Shako? Most people think taking Amrit is the destination. No, taking Amrit is the initiation. The Khalsa is very relevant today. The Khalsa is much more than what we think it is. And if we adopt these characteristics, then the Khalsa is a person that the whole world needs right now. The world needs this kind of Khalsa. Otherwise, if we don't know how to be this person, how can we really say that we are living to serve humanity? When you yourself haven't served that inner light, then how are you going to be a beacon of light for the rest of the world? The fact that you look distinct as a Khalsa means that you are distinct in mind. You represent a different way of living. When the world looks at you, they shouldn't be afraid they should look at you as a shining example of what a human being can be. Pure of mind, ready to fight, ready to stand up for what's right. So Vasaki is coming up. Think about your role in life. Think about your spiritual journey. Consider, are you ready to join this school? Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.